Hey Damon, good morning brother. This is Adam over at Perkins Motorplex. Wanted to get you a good transparent look at our 2023 Ford F-150 Lariat. This thing's super, super clean, very much loaded up. Um, excited to show this one off. Wish I could say that about every one of them, of course. Walked around it twice, had a teammate out here helping me look it over as well. I literally found one tiny uh, imperfection, but I was happy to do it just to show you how transparent we try and be. So. Just so you're aware, this vehicle, tons of factory warranty, of course, 9,700 miles, but with long-term ownership, it is available to have added to it some warranty protection that would actually go out even on hybrid components, engine transmission, AC, all the tech and electronics to 120,000 miles. That has no deductible, that's parts and labor coverage, anything not emissions or wear and tear at any certified uh, dealership or shop of your choosing. So really strong value i have it on everything but we'll dive in and kind of pick it apart so tires on this one obviously pretty well brand new those are hand cooks it does have the uh, mud guards on the front and the rear the only defect i'm going to just hop a tip first and i'm telling you i'm trying to look this thing over man that is the only rock chip that i can find on the truck it is literally that's me an inch away where'd it go right there an inch away maybe three inches a foot so again nothing really but man i was trying like heck to find something to point out to you coming down the side here using some of the daylight and the reflection for us i'm not seeing anything odd there as far as those shopping cart marks that happen to everything in parking lots which is awesome also with again obviously being very lightly used not seeing any of those love marks that we get from back in trailers into our bumpers. Does have the proximity sensors there on that back bumper from left to right. Does have uh, just one key fob with it. That's pretty standard for us. It seems like when we get one, the husband or the wife, vice versa, one of them does not turn in the second. But I would say that's the case about 85% of our inventory. Bed is super clean. Got some scratches, of course, so I'm glad to see you actually did use it a little bit but again, very lightly used with 9,700 miles. So this one does have a really common question we get. It does have the step as well as the handle for the assistance there. I'm kind of built like a human bowling ball, about 5'10", pushing three bills. So believe me, that handle helps me out a lot. Also, I didn't realize uh, when we were talking on the phone, but this one does have a nice bed cover on it. That's a roll-up cover. Um, it's got the brackets and stuff inside. It looks like at one point maybe somebody had something in there and then closed that cover on top and it caused a little bit of a bow in it. But it does latch, it is secured. It just doesn't have the complete flat lay down there at the back side. Coming across from rear to front, again, just using some body angles. Got a little bit more daylight on this side. Proud to say this side matches the other though. So not anything there that I'm picking up on at all. Obviously tires are a matching set. Wheels are in great shape. You had asked about, you know, it being uh, any kind of rust, anything underneath. Let me get out of my own light here. And I'm not seeing it, usually even on the calipers and, and the rotors and things like that, you start noticing that oxidation pretty quick before you even notice it on the frame or truck itself underneath suspension. But I'm not seeing anything there that's a concern to me. So I'll get you a little bit better look here. It's kind of back to front. frame everything's looking like i'd want it to mirror cap couldn't even find a rock chip on that one even things out i can put one there if you want me to otherwise front end looks really good too man front proximity sensors i'm the guy that needs those i'm a slow driver but also i'm really uh bad with brakes so sometimes man I, mine gets some little love marks there yeah, I thought that was a water droplet. So there you go. There is a pinhole sized, tiny, tiny little touch up spot. Again, it's already been touched up though. Headlights, tail lights, all those are clear. Hopping into the interior first, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of the remote start. Just showing you that that does function. Trust running super quiet. And that interior, man. That's the seller right there for me. Outside's beautiful. The inside is amazing, though. 
It's got the sliding back glass, clean headliner, no smells, no odors, not picking up on anything to show like a smoker's unit or anything like that. It does have the carpet mats under the rubbers. It does have the heated seats for that second row as well as some charging ports. Now coming around, hopping inside, I'll just get you a good look here first at the interior, like this driver's seat itself. That's where we get a lot of wear on things, just dragging our butts in and out. But that one there looks fantastic. So again, where the warranty really adds value to me is electronics. Um, so all your power options, windows, mirrors, locks, memory seats, power seats, all protected, no deductible, take it where you want to where you trust to do the work does have your power adjustable pedals which is also great everything's in functioning order here popping inside push button start Whew. all right big cluster mileage 97.75 come over here to that center stack yeah time that perfect with the load screen love it looks great huge uh so i absolutely love that obviously equipped with four-wheel drive it's got your pro trailering mode uh in the interior down low we've got your wireless charging pad we've got more charging ports over here on the left side ventilated seats me and my buddy are going to take advantage of that real quick it's about 95 degrees it feels like here at 10 a.m uh does have obviously upgraded audio that's not ever gonna pick up well on video but man it sounds fantastic ac's blowing cold dual climate control down lower too you have all of your kind of short uh shortcuts you've got your uh, valet mode to turn off your screens i always thought that was kind of a nice touch as well and then on the actual screen itself you have all your different features and options so you got your bluetooth you've got your nav got your favorites for locations and apps themselves apple carplay android auto those are really commonly requested questions there inside you got your settings menu and then for your features so you've got your outboard uh, outlet controls there you've got all the plugs in the back by the way driver assistance that's one of my other favorites here because you have so many features you can turn on so you've got your collision assist you've got lane keep speed limit assist blind spot detection rear camera view last to end this thing out for you show you some of the camera there and i always like it because you can actually change like top down view for like if you're hooking a trailer to it and then you have all of the other radar cameras so again there's that here goes the surround view for parking top view from the bedside uh, or from top of the bed excuse me which i thought was pretty cool um I, i'm not i don't have a truck that's been ever this nice so believe me uh that's always one of my things that I, i'm kind of impressed with some of the cameras but i don't honestly have an idea of whatever one of them is supposed to do uh you may know better than me so <laughs> hopping over to the last feature i'm going to highlight man i'm gonna cut this thing off for you um it does have put this thing in the park and then it does have the power fold down spot as well for the shifter. So I think that hits most of our questions. If I missed anything, if you have other questions, man, just reach out. I'll holler at you soon.